so good morning students i hope you all are staying safe at home um i have come with another computer class and i had already started this chapter in the previous class and today i am going to complete it so that we'll have sufficient time for revision also as you know uh, that our half yearly exams are going to start very soon so we should have some revision time also so this uh, the topics which are left in this chapter that is lesson 4 advanced features of ms excel are we have sorted filter then advanced filter then we have uh, sub uh, total and last one is the pivot table these are the new things which you will be learning today which were not there in the previous classes okay so i hope you all will enjoy and one more thing which i have already told also through group uh, whatsapp group or campus care that only up to chapter 4 will come in half yearly examinations so let's start with the first topic that is sort and filter see uh, before using this you must know what is the meaning of sort and filter sorting means you can arrange your data in ascending order descending order okay or if you have some uh, different type of sorting like i want to sort on the basis of a single column something like that then you can go for custom sort okay i'll show how another thing is filtering filtering means you have a huge um, large amount of data and based on some condition you want to take like i'm having my class students list and i want to know the students who who have scored uh, less than 33 marks in or means uh, 33 marks in mathematics so this is the criteria based on that i can take out those names so this is known as filtering okay so let's start how to do it first i'll show how to sort the data for that you select your data this way and then go to data tab and there you will get the sort option here you after clicking on sort it will ask you do you want to with which column these are the vertical rows these, these headings are known as column headings okay remember this thing very important this part otherwise you won't be able to do any uh, means extra features of ms excel all these are the vertical lines are known as columns and these are known as rows okay so i want to sort my data based on name column so when you will click on this drop down box you will see all the column headings will be shown here i want to sort it on the basis of name okay then it will ask cell values let it be like that and then in which order reverse order that is your descending or ascending by default it will show you ascending order suppose ascending only then click on okay you will see your data is sorted even the roll numbers have been sorted okay so this is on the basis of names this column has been sorted i hope you have understood this one next is filtering for applying filtering option you select your data like this after selecting the data go to data tab you can see this filter button here click on this you will see that drop down boxes have been added to every column heading okay column label uh, column label this drop down boxes are added suppose i want the students who have got in english 90 or 98 marks so i'll click on this drop down box you will see all the values are shown there and all are checked i want only 90 and 98 so i will uncheck other values this way remove the check mark and then click on okay you will see only the students who have got 90 or 98 in english are displayed here and rest of the records are deleted deleted means removed it is existing there only but it is removed now to clear this you just click on this clear button you will see all this data will be Uh, it will come back to your spreadsheet if you want to remove this combo boxes or the drop down boxes also click on the filter icon again okay i hope you have understood this topic next topic is advanced filter advanced filter here only one condition you can apply either on this column or that column okay but in advanced filter you can apply like i have condition that of uh, one student whose name is aditya and they should have uh, means any number of students can be there in standard 10 suppose in standard 10 find out the students whose name whose names uh, aditya and they have scored greater than 15 math okay so two conditions 
it can be like i want the students who have fulfilled both the conditions or it can be any of these two conditions are fulfilled then you can go for that okay i hope you have understood first criteria both the conditions are true for the student or another criteria any one of the conditions are true for the student how to do this whatever data you have where you want to apply the advanced filter before that at least one row should be empty okay how to do that here just select your data copy it or cut this data from here and paste it just below okay now how many rows many rows i have you can uh, leave as number of rows you want now copy the heading like this copy the heading and paste it there heading sir paste it now what is the criteria i want the student whose name is aditya i'll type it there aditya and they should have greater than equals to 50 marks in english so these if you are writing these conditions criteria in the same row i have written it same row if you are writing in the same row then both the conditions should be fulfilled if you are writing in an, like i'll show you what it does it mean here i want the students whose name aditya and they should have greater than equals to 50 marks in english okay now how to filter it go to your original data simply click your uh, mouse in any of the cells which you want then go to data tab okay in data tab in data tab click on advanced option okay you can see that in the list range this whole data a15 to e27 already selected so i don't have to change it now click on criteria range okay this arrow button you click on and then go to this area i want this only so both this you have to select you just check that these dancing handles should appear actually in my mouse some problem is there so sometimes it uh, creates a problem okay so i'm just uh, sh telling you that make sure this dancing handle should appear around the criteria which you have selected now to go back just click on this button again next is where you want to show the filter data do you want to filter in its original location or you want to copy it to some other location always go for copy it to some other location click on the second option and you can see it has come aditya english two adityas are there who have got more marks more than 50 in english this is both the condition should be fulfilled if another thing is that i want the students whose name aditya and another thing that those students who have scored greater than equals to 15 whether their name is aditya or not okay so this is the in that case what do you, first i'll remove it or here also it can be done just remove the second criteria from the same row as you can see that both the conditions are written in the same row remove it from this and write it in other row so any of these con two conditions are true then it will be shown means it will be fulfilling two things name is aditya all adityas will be shown another thing students who have got greater than 50 marks in english okay so for this same process click on any of the cells after clicking go to advanced okay then automatically got selected now click on this arrow select your data make sure dancing handles are there go back and then again copy to and then select the area where you want to copy the data go back and then okay you will see aditya as well as all the students who have got greater than equals to 50 marks in here you will see that Adit, this aditya hasn't got greater than 50 but his name is aditya it is fulfilling one of the condition that's why it is getting displayed so it is fulfilling two criteria students who have got greater than 50 and students whose names aditya whether they have got 50 or not okay so this is the way how you, we can apply advanced filter option okay next thing is sub total so sub total basically helps you to show you uh, the addition of records in the table itself what uh, how i should explain with an example this thing suppose in a company they have maintained record of sales in different months 
by different sales persons okay so they want to know that in the month of january like different entries are there january by this abc sales person 12000 sales was there then in the same month by different sales person this way record is being maintained i want to know the total sale made during the month of january so we can add those together how it can be done let me add another sheet there here i have already maintained the sales this column i'll just shift it here cut and here paste and here i'll write the name of the sales person sales person for sales person's name i'm just copying the names from the previous sheet these names will work right click and copy what happened not responding okay so i'll paste it in the in sheet 2 so that i don't have to type so go to sheet 2 now control c go to sheet 2 there you paste this names na here the sales person okay so here one more left here any name you enter suppose this and here borders i haven't given so give border from home tab okay now i want to find out the sales total sales made in the month of february in the month of january in the month of march november october suppose one more entry i am making here march by aastha and it is suppose 12000 okay so before applying this feature of uh, sub total make sure your data is sorted uh, on the column based on which you are going to find out the uh, sub total so i'm going to do it on the basis of month so i'll have to sort it i'll select my data and then data tab and then sort how to do it on the basis of month a to z okay so it is sorted now after doing this select your data on which you want to apply the sort and filter i have selected my data selected the data after this go to data tab and in data tab click on Uh, the sub total option here in outline group you will get the sub total click on this it will ask at each change in month yes it is this it should be selected or you can choose any i want the total uh, according to month only so let it be use function sum i want to find the sum on which sale so it is selected sales person remove it and make sales okay so done now click on okay you will see that they will show february total then january total march total november total october total and here since it's a big data it is showing you the scientific format okay now if you want only the february total rest of the details i don't want so you can see there one two three three options are created second one if you will click on only the month total will be shown no other details if you want only the grand total to be shown click on one and you will see that only grand total for all the months will be shown if you want this data to come back click on this again it will come back so this is sub total okay so practice it at, uh, at home and try to uh, means uh, uh, note down the same data or think of some uh, some type of data where sub total feature can be applied okay next thing we are going to do pivot table which is related to the sub total only and pivot table and normal table what is the difference first let me tell you that thing in simple table your data is fixed like here month is getting displayed sales person's name sales everything is fixed but in pivot table you can show the summary uh, like sub total total will be applied to every field so to uh, show the summarized data of a simple table you can take help of pivot table how to make it first you select your data select your data from here 
then go to insert tab insert tab pivot table is available in insert tab then click on pivot table option you can see this table range with the help of this dancing handles you can understand that it is already getting selected where you want the pivot table on the existing worksheet or a new worksheet i want it on the existing worksheet for that you need to choose this radio button okay click on that button now what's the location on this table you want for that click on this button and choose the location suppose this location now click on this and then okay you can see this this type of uh, display will be there okay what rows you want to create what values you want what columns you want in pivot table i want in the rows that uh, the month should be displayed or the sales person suppose in rows you want the sales person's name in columns you want months and in values the sales values so simply you drag it from here sales person's name in the rows drag month in columns and values in sales okay now you can see here the pivot table has been created if you want to change simply drag month here and bring sales in that column it will be changed so the summary of the table is shown with this you can do it after this i'll be giving you the exercise part which you can write in your copy in the form of assignment i hope you have understood this chapter and be ready for your half yearly examinations all the best thank you have a nice day